So another day, another review, and today we're diving deep into MSI's MPG Z890 Carbon Wi-Fi, a motherboard that's making waves in the enthusiast and gamer communities. But is it worth your hard-earned cash? Let's find out after a message from our sponsor. Are you tired of seeing this watermark but Windows keys are way too expensive? Then let me introduce to you GVG Mall. GVG Mall is your one-stop shop for Windows operating system CD keys and Microsoft Office CD keys. Being a PC builder, I'm always in need of operating system CD keys and I personally buy those CD keys on GVG Mall. And they're running their Christmas sale this December which can save you up to 88% on selected items. But here's a special offer for our viewers. Use our code JEGS on your checkout to save another 25% off your purchase. Their items are 100% legit and they offer 24-7 support on their website. Check them out in the description below. Okay, so let's start with the unboxing. The package includes a quick installation guide, a product flyer, cable stickers, their proprietary EasyCon cables, two SATA cables, ARGB extension cable, one to two RGB extension cable, front panel cable, M.2 clip, their Wi-Fi 7 antenna, and this thumb drive. The thumb drive comes pre-installed with the motherboard drivers and has an extra 23 gigs you can use for storage. It's uncommon to see motherboards come with a flash drive, so this is a cool addition. So first impressions matter and the MPG Z890 Carbon Wi-Fi doesn't disappoint and lives up to its name. Its sleek black design, complemented by the carbon fiber accents, screams premium and class. This motherboard is built on the Intel Z890 chipset, which means it's designed to handle Intel's ultra processors with ease. MSI's attention to detail shines with their reinforced PCIe slots that will ensure your GPU stays put. They also installed double-sided and enlarged heatsinks for the M2 drives to keep those SSDs cool and performing at their best. And for you RGB lovers out there, MSI added RGB to their Dragon logo located at the VRM heatsink, which is customizable via MSI's Mystic Light app. I personally love that MSI tried to minimize the RGB lighting on this motherboard, but I would have preferred a simple RGB-free motherboard just like what they did with the Tomahawk Wi-Fi, which I previously reviewed. But that's a personal preference and I know a lot of you guys out there love those RGB lights. And just like the Tomahawk Wi-Fi, MSI included more DIY-friendly features on the Z890 Carbon Wi-Fi. MSI's EasyCon header allows users to easily connect MSI Easy Series fans or MSI liquid cooling, enabling you to connect ARGB lighting, system fan, and USB device through a single cable. They also added M.2 Shield Frozer which makes the removal of M.2 Shield toolless and hassle-free. Easy PCIe release for easier and faster installation of GPUs and their M.2 clip for seamless installation of M.2 drives. Of course, connectivity matters and MSI certainly delivered. The MPG Z890 Carbon Wi-Fi supports DDR5 RAM up to 9200MHz with a proper overclock and a QVL RAM. But I was not able to test and verify this claim because unfortunately the fastest RAM I had lying around was only rated for 7200MHz but I was able to run 7200MHz RAM plug and play without any issues. The MPG Z890 Carbon Wi-Fi also supports PCIe Gen 5 for GPUs and M.2 storage, making it future-proof for the next generation of hardware. Speaking of MPG, which stands for MSI's Gaming Performance, it sits in between the Mag and Meg product segment. And the Carbon branding has been a mainstay for MSI way back 2016 when they first introduced the X99A Gaming Pro Carbon. And since then, when you wanted a blacked-out motherboard, MSI's Carbon motherboards were usually one of the motherboards you're going to consider. A little bit of history lesson for you folks out there. And as the name suggests, the Z890 Carbon Wi-Fi is equipped with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. It supports the latest Wi-Fi 7, giving you up to 4 times lower latency compared to the previous Wi-Fi 6 and 6E. But if you have access to an Ethernet cable, I would still suggest sticking to those cables as they are still more reliable than using Wi-Fi. 
As to the other external I.O. ports, you've got a robust selection including a USB 4.0 Type-C, plenty of USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, two Thunderbolt 4 ports, an HDMI port, a flash bias button, and a clear CMOS button. Now we go to the benchmarks, performance is where the MPG Z890 Carbon Wi-Fi truly shines. Paired with an Intel Ultra 285K, it handled everything we threw at it without breaking a sweat. And speaking of the Ultra 9 285K, this is Intel's latest flagship processor from the Arrow Lake lineup, built for high performance tasks and cutting edge computing. With 24 cores, including a mix of performance and efficiency cores, and clock speeds boosting up to 5.6 GHz. It's designed to handle intensive workloads like gaming, streaming, and productivity with ease. To be honest, not much is to be said here. The Ultra 9285K is a beast of a processor. You can expect top-notch performance on most tasks, but here are some of the synthetic benchmarks we tested, and here are the results on some of the games we tested. So here's a breakdown of what we loved about this motherboard and what could have been better. Pros, slick design with excellent build quality, perfect for black PC builds. It's also future-proof with its PCIe 5 and DDR5 support. It has robust cooling for high-performance setups and comprehensive connectivity options. So here are some of the cons of this motherboard. It carries a premium price tag, which honestly made this way those who are trying to save a buck or two. And this motherboard could have benefited from more USB-C ports because who doesn't like more USB-C ports? So final thoughts, is the MPG Z890 Carbon Wi-Fi worth your hard-earned doubloons? For enthusiasts and gamers looking for a black-themed premium motherboard with cutting-edge features and stellar performance, this is an excellent choice. However, if you're on a tighter budget, you might want to explore MSI's more affordable options. If you're interested in snagging an Z890 Carbon Wi-Fi for yourself, I'll put a link below to where you can buy one. So that wraps it up on our simple review of the MPG Z890 Carbon Wi-Fi. I apologize for the slow uploads of videos lately. We've been very busy with our new venture, which is an iCafe. We're currently working on our second branch already, so the slow uploads might continue in the upcoming months. But nonetheless, we will still continue to upload reviews and especially GPU benchmarks. And by the way, Intel's B580 tests are also coming up. We received news that they will be finally in stock here in the Philippines this January, so watch out for that if you're interested. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and let us know in the comments what you think of MSI's latest motherboard. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.